Hey guys, so I wanted to make a video today on starting your own accounting firm and just kind of recounting on the lessons I've learned from running my firm for the last uh, about seven years now. So the first thing we're starting our accounting firm is your services. Okay, so your services are going to really determine how much money you make in your you know first year, your first two year, your first decade inside of the business. And if you choose the wrong services, um, or if you don't know how to present your services in the right order or in the you know proper pricing of those services, it's going to cause you to need a lot more clients than what you should in order to go and reach your goal. So I'm assuming that if you're watching this video, um, maybe you're just getting started, maybe you're you're at like zero clients now because you haven't gotten started, or maybe you have a few clients, um, and your your goal is maybe to get to about ten thousand dollars per month, maybe twenty thousand dollars per month, anywhere inside of that range. Now, number one, we have to go and make sure your services are good. Now, and just before I even go any further, if you want some help growing um, and growing your accounting, your bookkeeping business, maybe you've been trying for a little while, but it's just not quite going to plan, or you want to be able to find a new opportunity to grow your business a lot faster um, in the shortest time period possible, I recommend you go ahead and click on the link inside the description below or inside the comment section to book a call with me. And on that call, we're basically going to go and get into alignment with like, where are you right now? What has worked for you? What hasn't worked for you? And also, what does your vision look like for your business? Like, why did you start? Do you want to get more time freedom from your family? Like, what does that look like for you? And if it makes sense, we can even work together long term. We can talk about the different pricing structures for that version of the program. And back to the video. Okay, so your, your services. So you got you to gotta understand, like, are you going to taxes? Are you doing monthly accounting work? Are you doing payroll? Are you doing, you know, virtual accounting? Um, sorry, virtual CFO or virtual controllership services? Like, what services are you offering? Are you doing tax planning? Now, the reason why you need to be really thinking about this is because a lot of people only offer like lower value um, services. So they'll do like um, tax preparation, but they'll do it for like individuals. And then they'll do like, you know, business formation services. I'm like, you, you can't really charge a huge amount of money for someone who's starting, you know, a formation. Like, I mean, they can go to like legal zooming and get the formation correct. So really you have to be looking at like, what are those higher value services like? Um, virtual CFO, virtual controller, tax planning, and always be looking for like, what's the highest leverage or highest value um, service that you can offer with your current skill set, and then have those auxiliary services or those secondary services in reserve. Now, the reason why we do this, because if you have a luxury service, it allows you to be able to have a high price service that raises the perceived value of you and your firm to the client. And as a byproduct, you're able to raise those secondary services services like your payroll and your bookkeeping services. So it, it's very similar to um, like Polo and Ralph Lauren. So Ralph Lauren or Polo, when they were starting, they, they had like a brand of clothes and they were trying to like raise the value and they wanted to go and make more money um, for that line. So what they did was they went and they started like a, a line called Ralph, Ralph Lauren. And these were ultra luxurious um, price points. Um, they, they did a lot of marketing to promote like a lifestyle that people wanted, right? So people were aspiring to be able to afford Ralph Lauren. So they started going and buying Polo because that's like the, the secondary offering to Ralph Lauren. And they make a lot more money with Polo because they're selling at such a high volume and they're able to sell a higher price point than what they used to be, that that is the thing that, you know, makes them the most money while Ralph Lauren is also that back end and that kind of just like, just profit driver um, on the back end that they utilize. It's the same thing with our business. You got to make sure that if you have like service like book uh, bookkeeping, payroll, or a monthly service, you also have some sort of service that acts kind of as that like, you know, like advisory, like you're an advisor. It's fancy. It's fancy sounding. That allows you to be able to charge more. For example, one of my students, his name is JT. Um, when he was starting out, he was only able to charge about $30 per hour for his bookkeeping service. And he was a CFO, he was a CPA. So he had the CPA and he was only able to charge $30 per hour for his bookkeeping. And what we initially did was say, okay, let's add this service called virtual CFO, right? And what he was initially able to do for, his, for that virtual CFO, it starts at $2,000 per month for that service. Now, what he was also able to do was he would first go and say, okay, so we have this service, it's $2,000 per month um, starting um, with your kind of specifications and the amount of time that you need, as well as the auxiliary services you need, it's actually more like $3,000 a month. And generally, if the person is a little bit newer, they're a little bit smaller, they're just not quite ready to spend $3,000 per month with them for that service, they go, okay, that's, that's a little bit too expensive. So he can downsell his bookkeeping service. Okay, cool. So why don't we go and work our way up to that virtual CFO? Because I know that, under, I understand that maybe right now is not the best time for that but let's go do it. And now he charged about $750 per month 
per 150 transactions that he does with his bookkeeping service. So he went from being able to charge like 30 an hour for these smaller companies. I mean, if it's a small company, they don't have any transactions, it's not a lot of work. Like he would be maxing out at like $300 a month because the companies are so small. Now he's able to offer that exact same service. But instead of getting $300 a month, he gets $750 a month. And he has a chance to elevate them to his, um, in marketing, we call it your value ladder. In accounting and bookkeeping, we just call it your, your other service offering. They call it cross-selling, cross-selling and upselling. So he has the option to upsell them at a future date. And it was all because he was able to add that auxiliary, just that, just that kind of core service that people really um, respected. It's like this respect that you're getting when you add those services back there. Now, hopefully this video has been very helpful for you. You know, like um, maybe you've been trying to do the stuff that we've been talking about. Maybe you know that, you know, your services that you're offering right now are not the same services that are going to, you know, take you to that 10K a month, that 12K, that 20K per month. And maybe you don't have your pricing right. Maybe you don't have your marketing or your sales right. You just don't really know exactly what it takes to be able to go and reach those goals. But you know you actually want to reach that level. I just want to encourage you once again to go ahead and click on the link inside of the description below to book a call with me so we can go and just look at where you are right now, where do you want to go, and if I think it, I can help you out, I'm going to outline what that process looks like. We're going to do this thing together. We're going to walk and march towards your goals, and we're going to make sure that you do it in the shortest time period possible. If that's what you want, go ahead and click on the link inside the description. It's going to take in my calendar. You can choose a time that fits you the best, answer a couple of questions to make sure I can help you out, and then we'll see you on the call. Hopefully everything is good. Um, if you're not quite ready for the call, I'll talk to you inside the next video and I'll see you soon, okay?